It's Chalina Achol, the Sudani mommy. Aye! Miss Verna. I want to get more consistent, and the most, the best way to be consistent is vlogging. Because my, you usually see my hair videos, and I, they're up whenever I do my hair, and they're never like consistent. But now, I'm gonna try a weekly vlog and try and keep y'all with my life if anybody cares. So yeah, I told y'all I was a Sudani mommy. This week is my Independence Day. This Saturday, July 9th, we going up. I actually have a workshop presentation to do. My day job is a lab technician, so I'm gonna be talking about a little bit about black women in STEM. I'm also having a barbecue this week, so you're gonna watch me cook, set up for that. What else do we have planned this week? I have work, I have to go get my nails done. I'm doing my hair right now. I'm getting, I'm doing micro links on myself for the first time. I've done micro links on other people, but I've never done it on myself. So you're gonna stay tuned for that. But I hope this video is going to be exciting and you enjoy this vlog. And if this is your first time tuning in, please like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like me. Weekly vlogs are a little different than hair videos because it's like a tutorial. We know what we're here for. But this, you're going to be here to like take a little step into my life and a little, learn a little bit about me. Um, I did a keratin treatment because with microlinks, all my hair is going to be left out. So I wanted my hair to be, there was like text lax videos that I was watching or texture release videos. And they were talking about how they had amino acids and it steam your hair and like set the product in. And then when you straighten your hair, it stays straight for longer. But I couldn't find that at my beauty supplies. But I did find um, this keratin 2 minute um, reconstructor you know that I am a scientist so as I was watching those videos I was trying to understand why the hair would stay straight for so long and like what chemicals were involved and like the main ingredient they talked about was amino acids and this one amino acids are secrets of proteins a little science facts for you but this one in the ingredients it said it had amino acids and there was another one as well but alcohol was too high on the ingredient list. This one was a reconstructor keratin treatment, and I love Apple G. I already, I already used the protein treatment. Now I'm just using the oil mixture I made. It's mostly jojoba oil, which is similar to the natural oils we produce in our hair. What is it? Sebum, sebum. And so I put this on my scalp, so I just mimic that, because hair takes a while to spread down the shaft when you have curlier hair, kinkier curly hair. And I'll put in a little leave-in conditioner, this Shea Moisture. It's gonna oil my scalp and then massage that in for a little bit. Focus on my scalp and then put in my leave-in conditioner. I'll show you guys my stuff first and then I need to get situated. I need to get like another mirror for the back of my hand and take out my perimeter and get started. I'll show you guys my stuff though. 
and I'll also have it linked down below. I got this extension tool kit on, on Amazon. Zing, the loopy loop. Can you see that? Let me tilt it down a little bit. My kit, the loopy loop I'm gonna be using, I'll be using these ones, and I'll use these clips to get my hair out of the way. Pliers. They even gave me like, oh, you see? Pliers. Tools. They also gave me um, these things, but I didn't really like them last time I used it. I don't know why. I got these kinky straight hair. It is so soft. It was only $100 on Amazon. I was so happy. It has like 100 pieces, like 50 or 100. I'm not counting that, but it has that many pieces in there. And usually everybody uses about three bundles. And I got three. These are my other boxes unopened it's 12 inches i think it's pretty long because i wanted it to be like my hair length not my hair length but like oh that's probably your hair like just a, a general afro this is what it looks like when it came in the original box oh it's 14 inches it's not even 12 inches. okay as you can see here i'm starting by parting out my perimeter I lay my finger over the hair and see if you can see my finger through it, just to see if I left out enough hair. I needed a lot more hair around the front of my hair line because my hair is thinner, it's finer over there. But this is just a little snippet of what I did for my hair. If you guys want a detailed video on how to do micro links, I might find a client and do it on their hair because it's kind of hard to get a good angle and show it on my own hair. But as you can see, I'm just parting out my hair and then I take my loop that's loaded with the uh, micro beads and put that through my hair. You gotta be careful what size hair. You, need mo you want it to be small enough so it fits, but also big enough so it's not gonna um, break off your hair or it's not gonna be too fine or it's gonna hurt because it's, it's just gonna be a really small strand of hair. So you get a nice little medium. It's kind of like a game of give and take and be able to figure out how much hair you need. These mirrors for me were a waste of time. I've got um, good hand eye or like finger, under, I don't know, I just understand the back of my head because I've been doing my hair my whole life and I can figure out how much hair I need to leave out. So I was going row by row and you kind of go in a U um, shape instead of across. So the U goes like from the front of your head all the way to the other side, back and forth, back and forth, up until you reach the part that you left out. I had two leave out parts, one in the front, like the middle part and one on the side. But, okay, as I was saying, you load up the loop with micro beads, and then you stick your hair through the big major part of the loop and slide it through, and it feeds in the micro beads, these ones right here. And as you're doing that, then you can do a whole row, but my hair would kind of like slip out through, so I would do each one at a time. And so I'd pull in the micro bead through, and then I'd feed in the eye tip hair, and make sure that the bead was close to the scalp but a little space out of it because it's if it's too tight it's gonna be hard when you move your hair around so and then just like tap a little bit of times like tight like two or three times to make sure it's secure i don't want to make it too tight and i don't want to make it too loose but that's i think about it for now but yes again if you guys want a more detailed video just let me know i'm watching home lovecraft so here is the first row um i'm like i'm good at these micro links these little rings are literally just the size to fit the eye tips with just a little a hair of extra space just a little bit more space but luckily my hair is really fine so i guess it doesn't really matter um i'm gonna do one more row tonight and then pray to god i finish it tomorrow i do have a hair appointment tomorrow and for, not me like i have a client but hopefully that goes by fast i will check back in with you guys tomorrow this is just to let you know that you can do it if you ain't got the bands, you can go on Amazon, get the supplies, do it yourself. Or teach your homegirl how to do it, your friend, and they'll do it for you. Yes, and each other's hair. Okay. We'll pay see you guys tomorrow. I look so gross right now, but it's a weekly vlog, so I'm gonna check it in. Just got off work. I am actually in traffic right now. Don't be like me. Um, I'm driving to the nail salon. I left early because I have to go get my nails done. That little bitty is loading. Like, I have a pimple coming in. Yeah, my friend's calling me. But yeah, um, yeah. I'll show you guys the nails after I get them done, and I'll just check back in a little bit. See you guys. 
I think last time, oh, I didn't show you guys. I was going in the nail salon. These are my nails. You see? You see? Um, they are red, black, and green. They are the colors of the South Sudanese flag. I'm South Sudanese, if you didn't know. Now you know. Ugh, I go to no free funnels. <laughs> um, I live in downtown Minneapolis. I usually go to uptown, so just around here. I actually did have one of my nails from that same salon go viral. But I just wanted to check in real quick before I go to bed. I have work tomorrow morning. I don't know if you guys saw me earlier. I was working on my, I call it my TED talk. It's my outline for my speech during my workshop for our Independence Day weekend. I'm nervous, I don't do public speaking. And you're like, why don't you don't do public speaking? You have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about the public speaking part, but YouTube is kind of easier because you're just talking to yourself. It's kind of like almost video diaries. Kinda. So I need to finish my outline. I started it earlier today. My deadline was trying to finish it before lunchtime. That didn't happen, but I have a good good chunk of it. I need to finish this outline by before I go to bed. It's like ten seventeen right now. Hopefully, I'm in sleeping the eleven. I could 11, 11, 15, an hour from now. I've got my chai tea from, this is Tezo. Got just some water in my emotional support cup and some tea biscuits. And I also have a panic on a stick. I've been eating like a middle school. Just the panic is starting to set in. I'm trying to stay calm. My friends are helping me um, cook tomorrow. I didn't think I was gonna need help cooking because I've cooked for events before if I'm throwing like a party or something and I'm usually like late I'm like half ready and I'm just like stretched out too thin or like irritated by the end after doing all that work so why not ask for help so a couple of my friends are coming with me um, another one of my friends are going to shopping we're going to Costco together and then I'll start all my meal prep Friday night and then put it in the fridge or the freezer. Sunday I will thaw it out and have everything prepped and ready to go. Hopefully. And then anything that's like last minute, like I think cutting fruit, watermelon. And I need to write down the labels because I want cute labels. I'm making traditional Sudanese food and a lot of people don't know what that is. So I kind of want to give like a brief description on each item. Like, like a catering event so you know what it is and what to try. Yeah. It's gonna be legit. I want it to be cute and legit and have a good time and everything to go smoothly, everybody to have fun. I want a couple to meet and be like, oh, we met at Chilina's barbecue on a rooftop and you know, we just, the sparks, the vibes were so right, the food was delicious. It was just curating a space of love and happiness and joy, you know? And the guy's gonna be like, oh, I saw her over there. She looks so happy, enjoying, you know, her shish kebab. She looked like she belonged here and I felt like I belonged here too. And I had to go up and talk to her and be like, this you, you're it for me. I want it to be a perfect relaxed vibe, you know, good flowing. It's gonna be, also I'm kind of nervous because I think it's like my different friend circles meet, mixing together. Seasonings. Get your seasonings from the dollar store kids, it's cheaper that way. Yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this to-do list and then finish my outline, email it to my friend that's hosting this event this weekend. and. I will check back with you guys in the morning. I will see you guys at work. Just be sitting here finishing this and I might try and catch an episode of Lovecraft or The Bear. Have you guys been watching The Bear? Comment down below <laughs> if you watch The Bear or if you also work in the service industry. I worked in the service industry for a good five, six years. Well, I don't know, off again, on again too because I would go back and I'd work in the service industry while I was doing other jobs or school and other stuff. It's dope, there's a different culture that people don't understand. A subculture, if you will. And Lip kinda, he has a similar role. I don't know if his um, acting ability is limited or I have such a strong understanding of Lip or seeing him in that show that his mannerisms, his body language, his tone, all that stuff just is the exact same. But I'm wondering if as an actor, shouldn't you be able to change all that? It looks like it would have been Lip's same life in an alternate universe. I'm gonna stop rambling now. I'm, I'm getting kind of tired. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.
driving to the dollar store right now to get some last minute like party stuff I need that I can get at Costco. Costco is the truth, bro. It's like um, a candy store for adults. I don't know. I, I can't focus. I'm like struggling to talk and drive at the same time, which is not the safest. But especially now because my brain is frazzled trying to figure out everything preparing for the showdown tomorrow but come like by I don't know I think by tomorrow after I get like my hair and makeup done I'll be starting with fuck it it's up whatever happens that looks stupid than the other at least at least I was cute I like this little trifecta area on Hiawatha if anybody's familiar with the Minneapolis area you got the whole trio anything you need and the Aldi's right here you're set it's late Aldi's closed now I really wanted to because Aldi has these veggie burgers that I want to get uh, but couldn't find them. I mean, I just thought I didn't find them. They were closed. I'm gonna go tomorrow. I don't know what time I'm gonna have tomorrow to go. Early in the morning? I have to be, I wanna be at the venue at like 1 o'clock, even though my little TED talk is until 3 o'clock. Because I'm not doing anything crazy with my makeup for the show anyway. Like Ryan's and all that. That is going to be on Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Get ready with me for today. Boom. Transition. Smack. I'm keeping that too. I'm keeping all that. Natural, baby. Okay, we're back home now. I went to Dollar Tree with three minutes before it closed and got all my serving supplies. But now, our mission is we got to make two stews. A spinach peanut butter stew and a minced juleps. A cook it up. If you will. I got my onion sauteing over here. I got my helpers, Nigeria, Mexico. Say hi, Alicia. Say hi, Nikki. Hey, y'all. Uh, we have to season the chicken wings, um, prep the shish kebabs, and chop up the burger pieces, like sandwich style for the onions and tomatoes and lettuce. But after that, that should be it for today. Sponsored today by Hornitos. But, um, <laughs> a little close up, life Listen, hack. You're ready to go to bed. You haven't been drinking. <laughs> you, you just chilling. Uh, was on camera? My bad. Nah, mm -hmm. if, you, if I can't sleep, you can't sleep. I am ready to go to bed. Life hack. Go to the dollar store for serving tray stuff. Your seasonings at the dollar store. store. Here's a little grocery haul. Oh, we got our spinach. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot. I mean, um, oh shoot, we have to make zalabia. Are you a family show? A so family show? Me, Keep it wholesome. I what? Ooh, what? Oh, wholesome tea? I'm rebranding actually. Does you don't see my wholesome tea post? Wholesome yeah. Up, These niggas said they came to work, but she's over here cooking her pizza. And she's over here watching her show with her retired yeah, folks. I like to watch at least one episode a day. <laughs> oh, that's right. Don't let me don't let me deprive you of your episode. Okay. Yeah, let me go get my meat for this. It's so keep it moving. I'll check back in a little bit. minute things I need to pick up and um I'm actually getting ready I still have uh, I want to add a few more micro lakes to my hair I might show you guys doing that part or maybe not I have like three hours but and I still have to run through my presentation a couple times I don't know if I'm gonna get note cards or just put like digital note cards or just hold my iPad I'm thinking holding my iPad because it's better for the environment um still supposed to have a package coming in later that's not necessary for today it's for sunday's outfit but you know i like having everything together low-key want to clean my room before anything it's not really that dirty but did make my bed and put away my unpack my suitcase from last weekend and i still need to make a reel for today for last weekend that's it for now i'll see you guys in a little bit you can take the girl
So I'm always open, right, to work with my South Sudanese people. But in general, it doesn't matter really what ethnicity or what country or culture, you know, people come from. If we're on the same mindset and also the same industries, then I'm always open to at least one, you know, hear you out of what is your different viewpoints, what are the projects that you're working on, and where do the synergies and alignment actually happen? Uh, yeah, I guess for me personally, I'm just, I'm a pretty open person, so I'm pretty easy to get along with and work with. And once we find that common ground, then you know, we can move forward. I have not heard of anyone who communicates with us through that space. Um, well, we can all sit down for hours and just hear our story. This is what we do with our friends okay. at home. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, to have, you know, strangers, people you haven't met, and, you know, like our brother here was saying, um, you do this, you do that, now how are we gonna connect work together? Like, this is brilliant. We need this, we need this more than anything. So I'm gonna give it to Ms. Piaz here to give you guys her last message to you guys. And then we're gonna go on and <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, a, I'm a camera person. He surprised no one has drank it yet. Yeah, I'm just surprised it's still there. That's some demon time. We're here. Um, I haven't checked in in a while, but we're making this right now. Everybody's here. We're chilling. Food is almost done. We outside. We outside grilling too. I don't even know what to say. I'm tired. It's been fun. Yeah. Thanks, Alicia, for recording. Being a host is tiring. Being social is tiring. Hold on, social. What's Nigeria? What's Nigeria doing in Sudan? <laughs> <laughs> looking, for, looking for refuge. What's up, Ringo? Blowing on the grill, I see you. Thank you. <laughs> who, me or you? I, who told you that? <laughs> this girl talks too much. Say hi, Evan. <laughs> Those young kids that say they don't like combo. But look at them now. Well, look at them now. Are you another food? <laughs> She just stayed from nowhere Now she's big somewhere And I wish I could make her mine Come dance with me Sasamuwa so